This is Paro Cynical. We're back. More call. This is Graham Cynical. We're back with more YouTube videos. So now, you probably see right now why did this glue glasses. Well, this glue glasses came from one place. <coughs> and that good place was Las Vegas. And look, right now, I look like a, not the total badass. I look like a guy who's about to spray the damn wall. But, you know, this look like Watch Dogs right now. Like, you know, one of the characters from Watch Dogs too. You know, uh, uh, I don't know, but today we're not gonna watch talk about Watch Dogs. Today we're gonna talk about today we're gonna talk about some new things. But if you want me, well, I can still have it on. You know, I don't know if anyone else stress this, but let me change this. Uh, nope. No. No. Much better. I think it's much much better. So yeah, you know. I want to talk about two things right now. Uh, today we're going to talk about which movie from last year won the best production directing, directing Oscar from 2019. So now that you have seen, you probably are going to wonder what Jojo Rabbit was it the Irishman? Was it other kind of movie you might probably see? No. Today we're going to talk about two masterpieces that came out in theaters. The first masterpiece was from like Korea room from Korea was called Parasite and in the other part this other movie that I really really liked was Joker so now what which two movies were the greatest movies of all time well let's talk about it today in this video which movie should be the movie of the year other two movies might be two of the movies now let's talk about Parasite Parasite basically a Korean movie made by Bong Joon-ho which is one of the movies which is a really really great director and this guy knows how to make him how to make drama but now let's talk about what the movie is basically about so the movie is basically about a family a family that is really 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 poor like it's really really poor and doesn't have a job and basically they start making a new way they want to get money from rich now this is where the part of, where the part of the movie start getting more you know more chilly now why the point me? What I'm saying we will pop well. The family wants to get money from the rich, but one of the kids want to bring the whole family with the rich. Now that is something more advanced, cause you know they start planning new plans. I don't want to spoil the whole whole movie, and the movie is really really impressive. That the cinematography, cinematography, cinematography. Cinematography, you understand me? In Spanish, cinematography is really good. The directing is really good. The writing is really good. I'm almost the everything is really good. And I think you should be won an Oscar. But instead, you won the Oscar for best movie. And I can accept it. The movie is actually cool. You know, it's about a family that started making plans how to be, how to start planning to have an idea to get. The rich but the money but also the house and soon enough there's a lot of little traits in the movie and a lot of symbols that I'm probably gonna answer those answer when I when my most when everyone knows what Parasite movie is you know because you know I have a lot of ideas to talk about the movie because I watched it on last Sunday and it's really really impressive it's a really good movie and you know the movie is actually has a lot of symbols and a lot of things that might happen in real life like Living in poor, trying to do the best, you know, to get money, and they try the best. I mean, and they start doing chores to a rich family, but they start soon controlling the power of it. And when they start getting the power, of it, they want to stay in the house. They want to be the owner of the house. And it's basically a lot of ideas to be doing something like that. But you know, I won't spoil the movie. I just want to know which movie was the best and which movie should receive. The best Oscar or only one or two movies or the two movies. Now let's talk about the other movie which was in 2019 too, which was made by my favorite, also favorite character, Doc Phillips, which I never seen other movie of Joker. Now let's talk about Joker. Probably you already know what Joker is. There's memes about it, there's caution about it, there's memes, animation memes, there's Fandom memes, there's a lot of things about Joker, and there's even fucked up things about Joker. Even the fucked up fandom. But let's just go before everything that was away. Let's just throw it. Now let's go what is the plot about? Well, 
the Joker movie about is basically about a man called Art Fleck who was disregarded by the society, you know. <coughs> Sorry about it. He was thrown away by society and you know he start thinking society start making all things behind him. You know, his they start kicking him, they start throwing him, they start faking him and sure enough Arthur Fleck they start becoming insane. Like, you know, he start doing a lot of things. Like shooting someone, killing someone or doing something bad. And basically the more the more and more things bad things happen the more he transform into the Joker. And probably I might might to review the movie. I already reviewed the movie. You already know what happened in the movie. You know, I already reviewed Perry Joker. You know, um, or to Mark Murray kill Joker, kill Murray, then Joker become or to Fleck become Joker, then Joker kill his mom and Joker. And well, there's an ending which led you with a with a questionable ending that tell you of all what happened. And the whole movie was a was it a beginning, was it an imagination, or was it something else? And you know that that kind of movie I like. But, you know, it left you with a with an explained answer of what happened, of what of was it real, was it not? And basically, I gotta tell this movie, one Joaquin Phoenix should deserve to win the best actor, and Hilary Hilly Hilly she won an Oscar Jr. by the best motherfucking team they made like I gotta say both them are really good most like both but mostly Joker or Fulkin Phoenix did a good job and if he probably watched search this video look it up I want to say you did a good job Mr. Fucking Phoenix I am really proud of you and I am basically a big fan of your movies I'm basically a big fan and basically a big fan of you you know Thank you very much for you to win this Oscar. You're ready. You're ready and ready to serve an Oscar. But no, you know, let's just change the topic before I start making making more things. Now let's now let's talk. Which movie was the best? Which movie should deserve the really the best movie of all year, of last year? Now let's talk about. It. Joker has a lot of opportunity. You know, Joker Joker won eleven Oscars. What well, um Parasite won five. Par Five Oscars. I never seen if he wants more Oscars, which I probably should do that. I should probably check more on Parasite if he won, but I think it will def definitely won more Oscars. He won from Best Comster, Best Directing, Best Writing, and Best Actors. You know, so I'm probably thinking it actually win Oscars, but Joker is taking the Golden Medal for that. Cause you know Joker wins for best actor, best directing, best e almost everything. Like he has eleven Oscars, and maybe Parasite has five, which I I checked last time and it was five, maybe six or seven. And I gotta tell, for the Oscars, I gotta give it to Joker, cause you know Joker actually has a one win a lot of Oscars since the first review, and he has won a lot of Oscars, and Parasite has won. For best directing, which means he won like five, which basically yeah he wants five. So basically, after they before Oscars, they will you know the other type of Oscar where they give you the best movie, and you know, Parasite went five, but Joker went five, not eleven. So I'm gonna give it the Joker the champion for the best Oscar movies. Now let's go for the writing. Now this is a really really difficult one because you know. From two, from both of the writing, they actually nailed it. But which one should deserve to have the best from the writing? Now this is actually the part when I start hitting my head and say, Oh no, I'm in the middle of trouble. No, 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 no. I gotta say, they were both. Yeah, now Paro, what you're saying, you had their they did both from being the good best writing. Now this is the part when you see the movie, you want a good writing. You want to understand the writing. You want to understand what the actors say. And both of them actually nail it. Like, you want the character. You want to know if the writing is really good. And it's not like any other kind of movie that came out on Netflix. You know. Some movies that came out on Netflix or came out from the underground of Netflix. On the underground of the theaters. And you know. 
this time of the time, I gotta say, both the movies actually never like this, you know. When I try to put my face, I watch Joker like five times, and I watch Parasite like five times too. And I gotta say, they both have a nail, nail writing. I gotta never, never know. They both have great writing on bait, and I'm basically like how do characters actually nail do, do when whenever they say the code or whatever they know that writing. Now, which movie is gonna win for the best team? You know, for the movie's best score. Now, this is another part that cast P in the movie. Now, in the first line, we have Parasite who used other kinds of movies that you know for Parasite. But in the other hand, we have Joker 2 that have all kinds of movies, but also their own score. Now, this is the part when I start thinking which movie should win. But I think I'm going to put that in the later on, because I have to talk about the cinematographic, cine, cine, cinematographic. Now, the cinematographic is one thing that we all need to see. How the beauty of both movies were directed, how the camera shots, you know, how the camera shots were good, how the beauty of the cinematographic were good. And I gotta say, they're both, but mostly I gotta give it more to Joker. Now this is the part why I'm saying why both the Joker. Well, not that I'm saying I like Joker, but I'm saying the cinematographic of Joker is more, bit more good. And Parasite is also good, but it has that, not that good. It has it, it has it good, it's really good, but it's just that tiny little bit is not that good. And Joker has a good, because you know, there's some cinematographics some shot of the camera when you when they're really good and they actually make a uh, drawing. But also Parasite and I'm saying why Joker is winning from cinema as well, he actually know of how they actually start putting you know, they start editing the way they wanted to make. They wanted to you they want them to make it like it was came out of the eighties or the sixties or the twenties. I don't know what year the Joker maybe was because you know the Joker movie plan was to make it from before the past, like in the past. Because you know, people start wearing costumes, like they wearing nice dress. And now you know, in that part, I gotta say, Joker has more. They start using more of, they start nailing about how they're gonna do it. They start capturing. And you know, that's the good part. But you know, in the Joker movie, they start knowing where to put the camera, when to know this, when to put that. And the other hand, Parasite, I also nail it, how to put the cameras. But there's one bad thing I don't like. But, you know, Parasite actually have some good camera shots, I gotta say. That movie is actually nailed for being a good movie. You know, there's some cinematographic there, and they're actually really good. And I gotta give it a 9 of 10 for Parasite. And for Joker, it's also a 9 of 10. Because, you know, they both equally, but Joker wins more. Now let's go for Best Director. Now this is the part when you start seeing all oh, part of please peep those films or oh, please peep more Kong Ju. Now I gotta say, this is an equal too. Why? Why is this an equal? Well, did you know they both actually know how they want the movie. They actually know how to make the movie to work. And I gotta say, Bong Ju, Bong Jung Ju. I don't know, I gotta check the name again. My name was Bong Joon, so I'm just gonna call him Bong. Bong Joon. So Bong Joon knows how to make a movie, you know, he started knowing how to make the plot, how to make the twist, how to make the click hanger, how to make the ending. Which, you know, he started noticing, okay, we need to do this for the fans so the views to be shocked. And you know, for that, I mean, he actually knows how to make a movie from comedy to a horror movie to a thriller movie. Like, it start doing you in an advanced way, but you can see how the movie start changing genes. And if you don't know what genes mean, it means, like, you start going to drama, then comedy, and love, and horror. And this movie has comedy and horror at the same time. Like, he caught, he first has this little part of, the little funny part, and then we have the, in the other part, we have the end part, which is the tragic and the horror thriller. And I gotta say, that movie actually nailed it of how to make the gene to change, how to make that mixed emotion that this movie is going to be a comedy and then it changed. And I gotta say, it actually went good. 
Not in the other hand of Joker. Why Joker? Wait, let me change my. Let me see. Uh, nope. You know, I'm just gonna change the other one. I like the other one, this one. Alright. So uh, now, let's go to Joker. Now, Joker is actually going to drama. So I gotta say, why Joker didn't change the gene? But he actually went good on the drama and the. And start going good for the horror. Now, this is the part. When it also changed the dream too, it changed the draw, it combines, but it didn't change, it combined. Now in this part, you can see it combined the horror and drama at the same time, and it splashed it right there, and it went perfectly good. Like, the horror and drama combines a Joker, but you know, there's some parts when you feel bad for the character, where there's drama, there's drama. And it's actually another scene. When the character goes spooky, and that is actually how I want it. And there's all those all the scenes where the characters scenes that it actually doesn't. It's not the character, but other kind of character makes the scene spooky. And you know about that. And about the directing is actually good. I gotta say it. I'm gonna give a ten of ten for both directing. Now what else is this? Now what else? Uh, for best, I already talked about best directing, best cinematography. Now, I think the next one is for which movie sounds good. The plot of the movie. Now, this is the part where I might I might not spoil your, the movies. Because, you know, I don't want to spoil the movies. And I want to do another video so I can make for another video. And when I make the other video, I can know... Okay, so I already talked about this movie and about this movie. I want and I didn't went perfectly like my mind just poof it went blind and it, I was like oh no. So I and I'm gonna you know it's Friday and you know I should have thinking about making a parasite movie review. Which I think I'm gonna make it next next Friday, you know, next next Friday. But you know about it now I think I'm gonna have that click ham that question click ham it for the next video you know the Paris that review I'm gonna say which movie was good how the plot was good now let's talk about the score now this is the part when the music needs to make needs to fit the scene and I'm saying why the movie needs to have a, a music fit in now for music to work you work for a movie you need the music and the music elevates the scene it makes it like you like start getting horror, start getting drama, start getting comedy. And you know, and actually when the music fit in, it actually make a good scene. Now let's talk about which movie has the best score. Now I gotta say, it was Joker. You know, Joker actually nailed it for the score. I'd say the soundtracks are pretty good. Mostly the call me Joker, the bedroom scene. And and some others like I think the battle scene, the battle dance soundtrack, and Call Me Joker with the and you know White Cream Room actually went good for the scenes. Do you know you start seeing how the character like just three music actually fit the music actually fit the scene. Like White White Cream Room actually fit for a scene. Now imagine this at the movie end. Well, after Joker, after Joker kills Moraine, and then he shows this recompletion of TVs playing, saying that that Gotham is getting burned. Do you think the movie will end there? No. Do you want to know what happened? You don't want to want to know what happened to Joker. You want to know after that. And then the white white room green comes in and it fits right in, like instantly the music just just fucked up, just fucked the whole scene. Now the other part of the scene, I, I kind of forgot almost, is Gary Killer, Grady Griller of Gold. Now this is the scene when Joker started descending the mat and he started, he started dancing, like, started dancing, and he started moving. And now that's one scene that it got almost, almost the whole fucking wall to think, oh no, I should go do whatever the place is, find the stairs and dance for it. Like, you know, instead, social media was like fucking dumb. He was like, oh, so my, I just lost me on my brain cells. They think that Joker was gonna cause the end of the world. No, 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 it didn't cause the end of the world. 
idiot. It costs people to dance there. Start relieving the moments and start doing preachy dances. Start doing fucking videos. Even, I don't know why a girl decided to do a video or for dancing, recreating a video. Start recreating the dance, the Joker stair dance. But you know, I don't want to get into a fight with another guy. I'm just saying that I feel a bit of cringy her dancing and trying to recreate a moment. Because you know, if you cannot nail what is already nailed. If you want to try, that's, that's for you. That's up for you. But you cannot recreate something that was already created. Already made. Now, why Joker wins for best team, best score? And Hill, I gotta say, Hillier, Hillier, she is a good motherfucking. Okay, I don't know what to say. She's a good, actually, soundtrack player. Like, she made the good songs. She even made the good song for Chinoli, the series, and she nailed it. Like, Jesus, but when I see Joker, oh my god, she nails Joker. Like, I gotta say, she is the god of motherfucking Joker. She nails what makes Joker even better is how the score, the music, the soundtrack start playing and start feeding into the scene. And in that moment, I, I was like, in the mid of God, God just start slapping my face when I first seen the scenes with Hillier just feeding in and saying, I'm, I'm still there and I have good music to play. And I gotta say, Joker actually Hill you actually made a good score. So I'm gonna give it this time for the best score do Hillary do Joker. Now let's go to the other part. Now this is the part where I start making which movies were the best. Now I gotta say this is the moment in my life when I started deciding when I only have one trophy and I had to decide which movie was the best of the year. Now I had the Oscar. Imagine I had the Oscar and how about to decide which movie was the best movie of the year. Should I decide Parasite? Or should I decide Joker? And you know I started sweating. Then I had the car. But I just fucking raped the car and throw it over there and tell the guy fuck you I'm gonna stop by my own. So for the best movie of the year I gotta tell and I'm sorry for Bong Joo who, but I gotta say, this is my opinion. I think the Joker was the best movie of the year. Because you know, everything, I know Parasite nailed it. It nails how to make a story, it nails almost everything. But Joker nails also too. Because you know, Joker went, the, Joker, the movie Joker went through a lot. He went from being hated by society, and he went from being hated by social media. The fucking running tomato gives that thinking, you know, I should rethink my decision, I'm gonna give it a 68. And people start talking bad, but you know, it was the first movie where, you know what, uh, Jesus just say, fuck you all, this movie has to need a 90. And I gotta say, Joker, motherfucking Joker, has deserved to be the best movie of the year. I know Koreans are gonna get mad when they watch this video, they're gonna get. Fucking blast! They're gonna go. Oh, so you saying Joker should win the motherfucking movie? But you know, I have another Oscar, and I gotta say, this Joker was the best movie of the year. But Parasite was also the best movie of the year. And then I have not two Oscars, so I cannot have an apology. So now you're gonna get fight with me, you know? Because those two movies are the best movie of the year. And I gotta say, if there were two Oscars for the best movie of the year. They should give it to Debo. They should give it to them. Those both motherfucking good movies. I'm gonna just say. I think in the next video, I'm gonna make the review and I'm gonna spoil you. I'm gonna make a lot of spoilers for Parasite movie. And I think after that, I'm gonna start making gameplays, you know. And I think after my Parasite review, I'm gonna make a gameplay for like another game. And you know, I, don't, I still have thing what what game I'm gonna make. But, you know, I think this is the end of the video because, you know, I'm out of ideas and I think I already make uh, what I need to talk about. And, you know, Joker and Parasite are the best movie of the year. Now, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, well, get out of my video. Get the fuck out of my video. You black ass nigger. You fucking, you fucking racist. Narcophase nigger. 
and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm gonna promote in this time I'm gonna promote two channels and well why am I gonna promote two channels well you know I'm gonna start promoting two channels today and those two channels are for my friends and you know those friends I actually like them and I want them to have more subs so my first channel is called Little Trash she one three seven her chat she has really good drawings she has a really good art drawings please stop to her channel I'm gonna I'm gonna put her in, the, in my link and the other channel which is the second version is a, it's a channel called Freezy so Freezy is one of my friends another my friend who has a really good skill of FNAP please sub, sub to her and you know I'm trying right now I think she needs I don't, I don't know if you need sub but please sub to her channel I'm gonna put those two channels on the description so you can sub and also please if you want to join my discord server I'm gonna put it in the Twitter if you want to follow me in Twitter I'm gonna put it in the description please thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time and there's gonna be before I forget there's gonna be two new things I'm I think soon enough um, I'm still planning to do it I think I'm gonna do a movie event soon enough and you know I'm still be about the parasite movie you know I want to I want to make a parasite movie for my friends which I'm still right now I'm still thinking if I'm gonna make a review of the parasite movie I want to try to do the gameplay and you know I don't want my I don't want my friends to watch this video and think oh okay so he's gonna talk about the parasite and we so he's gonna make a movie event about the parasite movie when he's gonna talk about the parasite movie next time you know, I, I'm not gonna be that mean. So I think, I think the Parasite review I'm gonna make it soon, next time. So yeah, another thing, you're probably wondering when I'm gonna have a new, when when I'm gonna start thinking how to make new videos. Well, we have new events. One of my friends is gonna make an injury for a YouTube channel, and well, I'm not gonna stress him out because you know he's a really good boy, and you know I'm not gonna stress him out. But I want to say I'm going to wait till he finished the intro so I can start putting to my new intro on my channel. But yeah, this is enough. This is everything for, I got to say for YouTube. I see you in the next time. And remember and uh, to be and remember to be cynical. See you next time. Bye. You don't want five minutes for, for me using these glasses.